And now, look at that. Oh my god! Are you serious? We got an S-Class? You joking? Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and we have our Void or Singularity Core. So if you didn't know, this is our living ship guide. And in the last episode, we grabbed it, but we had to let it mature. So now we have a fully matured Singularity Core for our living ship. We have four parts. We're going to need one more part, I think. But now that we've got that step done, always check in your log. Make sure you're on the Star Birth mission right here. We need to go out into space. That way we can run into the living ship. That way they can kind of direct us on where we need to go next and what needs to go on next. So let's head out into space. We're going to pulse drive until we get the uh, living ship to make contact with us. So it doesn't matter where you go or... Um, like which system you're in, if I were to travel to a different system, the uh, the living ship would show up there. It just needs to make contact with you so it can imprint onto your egg. So let's see, come on. Come on, living ship. It took a while last time too, so it might take a little longer the deeper you get in. Let's do that. We're gonna stop and just pulse drive this way now. There it is! All right, so the ship made contact. It didn't take that long this time. All right, it is nearly complete, but here we will diverge. If you share yourself with us, it is sacrifice. There is no infinite mind to spill. It must be yielded. The song of this strange space creature has changed, subtle but unmistakable. It has become a duet, a perfect harmony with the void egg. So now our egg is singing with it. The voice of the alien is fading. It feels weaker. And in a perfect inverted echo, the void egg grows in volume. Its music now insistent, pounding. It has its own message. So our, our egg is now maturing. So let's look at the egg. We need to go to... Oh, this is where you're going to need your portal, you guys. So these are actually the names of the glyphs. These are the official names of the glyphs in this Right here, follow the call of the Void Egg. The egg intones a strange song repeating. There it is. So, guys, we need to find a portal. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a portal real fast. If you already know the location of a portal, you can go there. If you want to, you know, ignore this part of the, the video, you can skip ahead to where we already have our portal and we're good to go. However, a lot of people don't know how to find portals, and I want to show you guys how to do that. You know, in current day, you know, it's changed a little bit over the years, but we need to go. Examine the egg in the inventory to learn its requirements. Unconventional travel may be required. So, yeah, it's telling us, hey, you, you're going to probably need to go through a portal. So go find a portal. Let me show you how that works. So in order to find a portal, the easiest way that I have found, this is the way that I always use. This is the uh, the... The process I always go through to find any portal in any system. It doesn't matter which system you're in. Go on, go land on the space station. Head over here to the cartographer, the guy that, or the alien that sells charts. Come over here, talk to the cartographer, and we're going to need alien uh, chart, alien uh, ruin chart. So let's go to exchange specific charts. We're looking for this one, alien and ancient artifact site. I would say grab five. You know, if you only can get two or three, do it. But we're looking, we need these because we're looking for a monolith. So let's fire one of these off. Alien monolith detected. So the first one we got gave us an alien monolith. So that is why you want to uh, get those maps. We need to find an alien monolith because the alien monolith will show us where the portal is in this system. So let's fly down here and go talk to the alien monolith. Here we are. Now, this is going to be an important thing. When you get out of your ship, keep keep a note of this. When you get out, you make a restore point. So if I go into my pause menu, if I go to my options, I can reload a restore point, which is right, right when I get out of my ship. Or I have an autosave. Every minute, it will autosave just in case like the game crashes or there's a problem. It'll make an autosave, but when you get out of your ship, it makes a restore point. Keep that in mind because we need to solve a riddle at this mo uh, this monolith. 
Yours is going to be different than mine. Every, every monolith has a different puzzle on it. If you fail the puzzle, reload your restore point. If you're successful, you're good to go. But if you fail it, reload the restore point and you can come back in here and try again. So you'll see what I mean by that. So something destroy the something, destroy the whatever. Okay. I am not alone. Tiny beaked creatures gamble around my feet. To them I am a giant and they recoil in terror when I see me towering when they see me towering above them. The air fills with an unpleasant aroma as they pin themselves against the hard edifice of the unforgiving monolith. The terrifying obelisk itself sits in judgment above us all, both myself and the creatures of the vision. So if I pet the creatures, it's going to be different than if I terrify the creature. So we're going to pet the creature. Before they disappear into the ether, the creatures thank me. The spirits that haunt this place, however, are displeased. So I failed. I actually failed it. So what you need to do if you fail it like that, reload your restore point, not your autosave, your restore point. Because this will actually reload me back to where I got out of my ship. And so... You don't have to worry about, oh, I failed it, now it's screwed. Because right now, if I would have kept with that uh, save, or that uh, that process, I would never be able to access that monolith. I failed the uh, quiz. So now we need to head back in there and do the same thing again. Right here, boom. Beautiful. So now we know we're not supposed to pet them. We're supposed to terrify them. And look, it's the exact same question because it's always the same at each monolith. So let's do this. We're going to terrify the creatures this time. The spirits that haunt this place are greatly amused. When they when the quaking beaked creatures disappear, they are replaced by a gift. So I've, I've won. I, I, I completed it. But we're not finished here. We need to go into the monolith once again. And now that we've completed the riddle, it'll actually let me look for a portal. Look at that. Boom. But we need one Gek Relic. Every system, every alien is going to have a different one. So, if you're a Vi if you're in a Viking system, you're going to need a Viking dagger. You're in a Gek system, you need a Gek relic. If you're in a uh, Corvax system, you're going to need a Corvax Corvax casing. Every race is going to need a different item. So, I'm in a Gek system. Let's put that Gek relic in there. And now we know where our portal is. We know the portal is over there. So, let's fly to the portal, and we can continue on with our living ship. So let's get on over there. So here we are. We're landing at the portal that got marked by the monolith. And whenever you find a brand new portal, you're going to have to recharge it. So this is a portal that's not been charged at all. So I would say bring in a lot of materials. You're going to recharge this thing. So let's do this. And when you get in here, it'll show you these are all the glyphs. You need to recharge all of them to use the portal. So you got to grab like sodium for this one, dihydrogen for that one. You have to use your metals for this one. So yeah, you're going to need all the different elements. And they give you more options. Like if you don't have sodium, you can use sodium nitrate. Either one works. Doesn't matter which one you use. So I try to use the one that I have the most materials of. That's why you'll see me. I use my sodium instead of my sodium nitrate. So I don't have a lot of sodium nitrate, so I go with the sodium. Same thing for the dihydrogen and deuterium. I don't have a lot of deuterium, so I'm using my di- Oh, I don't have a, any dihydrogen. I need to use deuterium. Great. Same thing. I don't have a lot of these, like, indium or anything like that, so I'm going with copper, because that's the one I have the most of. So that's why I'm using that. There we go. Deuterium, copper, and last one is- We'll do condensed, just because. There we go. So now the portal is charged up, and it's ready to go. However- we need to go for our glyphs. So we need to leave. We need to use our glyphs, but we don't know which glyphs we need, right? Go back into your egg. And this is where you're going to have to, like, memorize or write some stuff down. So I will put up on the screen right here. This chart will give you the names of all the glyphs that we know of that have officially been given the name. So the hunter, that's the first one I have. That one is the bird. Then I have the reflection. That is actually the face, the what we what we call, what I call the weird face. And then we have a hunter again, the spirit of or the spiral of reality, that's the black hole. So all of these have a name. I'm again, that chart is up on the screen right now. So take a screenshot, whatever you need to do to memorize it, that way you know where we need to go. 
so let's put this in here oh lord let me uh, i gotta remember this so let me write it down real fast so i have i have it written down that way i don't mistake anything this might be the same i think these glyphs might be the same for you but if they're not just use that chart and know the names of every glyph but i think that we're all we have to be in euclid you can't be in like hilbert you have to be in the starting galaxy so let's enter these ones that I have. I'm pretty sure they're going to be the same ones for you as well, but they might be different. The hunter, which is the bird. The reflection, which is the weird face. The hunter again, which is the bird. The spiral of reality, which is the black hole right here. The star over water. That's the sunrise or the sunset. Sunset. The Ascending Orb. That is what we call the hot air balloon. It looks like a pin, whatever you want to call it. That is the Ascending Orb. The Obscured Companion. That is the moon right here. Obscured Companion. Then we have to go to the Hunter again, which is the bird. The Lowly Insect. That would be the spider right here. That's the Lowly Insect. The anomaly, which is actually the uh, the hexagon right here. That's the anomaly. The sailor. Can you guess which one that is? That's the boat right here. That is the sailor. <laughs> I like how they actually, they, it feels like they used the uh, names that we all came up with as a community and it was working. And then we have the ocean king, which is the whale. And again, as always, make sure you're in the right galaxy. You're in the correct galaxy. You need to be in the Euclid galaxy for this to work correctly. So now let's run through here and see where we go. So this is where we need to be. Redacted. Sentinels few. Flora from elsewhere. And fauna between worlds. Okay. So the Void Egg seeks a specific world warning. Current planet signature does not match the Void Egg residence. Okay. What? Am I not in Euclid? Oh, no. This is going to be a really embarrassing thing if I'm not in Euclid. I thought I was in Euclid. Let's see. Let's get in here. There's a way you can check it if you're in Euclid. So you need to be able to... You need to be out in space because you need to find your uh your map so go to your galaxy map and oh my god everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it i'm a genius i'm an incentium so you see the top left hand side of the screen it says i'm an ascentium ascentium so i'm in the wrong galaxy crap i need to go to a, a euclid so i uh, give me a second guys oh my god Guys, before I before I jump to it, let me show you what I mean by that. So, you see the name right here, and then right below it, it says Euclid Galaxy. If you're not in Euclid, it will tell you, hey, this is a different galaxy. Like right now, I'm in Ascentium. This is my Ascentium portal. That is why there's no name on it. So, make sure you're in the Euclid Galaxy. I'm gonna go to my corrupted portal base in the Euclid Galaxy. And we're gonna try that again. So let's go there. So we're gonna pretend like all that did not happen. I'm not gonna edit it because I wanna show you guys what it was like if you're in the wrong galaxy, what would happen? So let me make my save. I am in the correct galaxy now. I'm in Euclid. Let's pop those coordinates in there again. I wish they would tell you you're in the wrong galaxy or whatever. Like, hey, these coordinates don't match or something like that. They used to. They don't tell you that anymore. I wish they would have a warning or something. So let's pop these uh, these glyphs in again. So the hunter is the bird. The reflection is the weird face. Then we have the bird again. The hunter again. The spiral of reality, which is the black hole. The star over water, which is the sunrise. The ascending orb, which is the hot air balloon. The obscured companion, which is the moon. The hunter, which is the bird again. The lowly insect, which is the spider. 
The anomaly, which happens to be the hexagon. The sailor, which is the boat. And the ocean king, which is the whale. This might be the same one for you. So keep in mind, again, we're in Euclid this time. For real, we're in Euclid this time. I made sure of it this time. So now that we're in the correct galaxy, we can go through this and we should arrive at the correct uh, planet. I'm hoping. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe I was in the wrong galaxy for that. I was in a Sentium. Dang it. That's okay though. That's okay. It happens guys. It happens. It happens to everyone, including me. <laughs> All right. So we should be at the planet we need to be. So let's see what happens with our, uh, with our egg, it should tell us that it likes what what it sees. The egg sings the song of the fallen traveler. So there we go. It marked the location where we need to go. So let's hop into our ship and let's go to this final location. I believe it's the final. Maybe not. I might have to, because I think we have to run around for a little while and find one more item for our egg. But let's see. I'll show you. I'm guessing this right here. Nope, not going to be at a uh, drop pod. So that's not it. Let's see, you can land here. Let's look around. What do I have to, where am I going? What am I doing? Uh Oh, let's see, go into our, uh, go into our egg. Let's see what's going on here. When touch the country is okay. So it's not even changed anything yet. Use the target sweeper. Oh, there we go. Oh my God. I was outside of the, I was outside of the region. So if you don't land exactly where they want you to, they're just like, nope, you don't even get the target sweeper. Okay. So make sure you land where that marker is. <laughs> wow. Usually they'll just tell you, Hey, look, you're outside of the distance or it's too far away or whatever. They don't even give it to you. All right. Well, let me find out where this location is. I'll be right back. All right, I'm here. This one, this location is actually going to be a building. Okay. So this is an abandoned building. Let's pop in here and see what the heck is going on. Watch out for the whippy plants. Oh, no whippies in here. Okay. You can get rid of this trash. I mean, you can refine it into nanites, but it's not worth it. Get rid of the trash. All right. Is that you? Something seems different. The terminal echoes an ancient signal, the final disrupted fragments of a fallen traveler. The signal is a recording, a loop captured by a strange device launched in the terminal input. Let's collect it. What is this? We have a soul chamber, a biomechanical construct created to design an anomalous host. To the design of an anonymous host. The fusion of complex circuitry and an ineffable <laughs> glitch of the traveler. So we have a soul chamber. We have to go collect souls. That doesn't sound good. We have to collect souls for the egg host, meaning we have to go to different grave sites. Uh, there's a lost traveler over there. Oh God. Okay. Well, we got to call in our ship. I'm not walking for two hours. So it'll mark the location of again. Remember, make sure your uh, mission is selected for star birth and it should mark the locations of Fallen travelers, grave sites. You have to go to grave sites in order to collect their soul, which is kind of, uh, kind of gross, kind of bad. You know, I always feel bad about it, but they're already gone anyway, right? So what does it matter? I don't know. Depending on uh, your opinions on that, <laughs> might be, might be good or bad. So let's go over to the first uh, lost traveler location. All right, it faded as I came in here. There's a storm happening. So we're going to land. And so we need to look for, there it is. Okay. So target sweeper again, you know, it'll mark the general location, but you need to find the grave. There it is over here. You'll see at the top of your screen on your compass, it'll show you a yellow grave marker. That's how you know where it is. There it is easy enough. And you need multiples of these. So not just one grave, you need to go to multiple graves. Hello, collect the soul. Are you there? Are you, what's happening? Oh God, we just, he doesn't even know what's happening. So we're at 33%. We need more. We need the, uh, another soul location. 
There's another one right over there, six hours away. So we need to fly over to the other location. We got to travel to each location and gather souls. <laughs> so you need three travelers to make one living ship, it seems like. That's kind of, um, that's kind of bad. <laughs> three travelers equals one living ship. Okay. I'll see you guys over there. We're landing at the location that they marked for us. And we're going to look around. There it is. 168. Man, okay. They're actually putting me real close to where the uh, gravesite is. I like that. That's pretty awesome. Usually they make me walk like forever, like for miles trying to find these graves. So not that bad. Who's there? We're going to collect you. Sorry, buddy. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, God. Give me your soul. We should have like... There should be some, like, Shang Tsung, like, your soul is mine. <laughs> that should be in here. Oh, all right. So now we have the final location over there, seven hours. We're going to pop into our ship, and we're going to fly over to it. And hopefully, I think this is the end. We'll have our own living ship. But I, it's been a long time. It's been a couple of years since I've done this, so I might be wrong on that. So let's head over to the final location. Here we go. So it faded off. So I'm just going to stop right here. And land. Uh, 300 feet this way. Let's hit it. Oh, now it's this way. That target sweeper is not very accurate. It's killing me. Oh, there it is. There's a grave. So let's collect the soul from this grave. Where did you, what? Collect the soul. Why are you, where am I going? Oh God, I feel terrible doing that. So we have all the souls for our living ship. Terrible. So now I need to return to your own reality via the portal. So we need to go back through the portal we came through. So let's head back to the portal we used. We had to get into our ship. So they don't want you, you can't do anything on this planet. You gotta leave. Where's our portal at? There you are, probably like hours away. So the trick I always use is if you get outside of the atmosphere, you can just pulse drive over to wherever you want. Oh, see atmosphere interference. I need to go a little higher. And that should work. Now there it is. So. If you ever want to travel really fast to a location on a planet, just go out, you know, just go outside the atmosphere, just barely outside of it. And then you can just pulse drive to whatever location you want to go to. Let me land. There it is. And the portal should still be, yep, it's still running. So we just need to run back through it, head back home. So let's do that real fast. Boom. And we are back home. So now that we're here, what, what happens with the egg? Await contact. So we need to go out in the space again. Oh, wait a minute. Traveler, forgive our invasion of your personal interface. We are dying. Our body is old, fading. Our mind unravels. We must be renewed. We must be restored. It is the way it has always been. Refresh us, reset us, rebirth what you have made. Will we be the same? Unknown, but it must be. So let's hatch the egg. A set of coordinates are beamed to my navigation computer. So I'm going to go find, uh, you know, I'm using my egg to find a ship, a living ship. Locate the new life form. Your host song lures you, lures you onward. So where is it at? It's over here on this planet. Wherever you're at, it'll go there. 
So there we go. And our egg, our crackly. Oh, it took out our. Uh, oh no no. We still have all of our stuff. Yep, we have all of our. All of our organs are in there, but we have our egg, our crackling void egg, right there. So you want to make sure your void egg is on your, you uh, in your suit, because if you leave your ship, you're, you know, you're not gonna have your egg. There is our. Oh, look at that! That is our living ship right there. So let's get in here and see what's going on with the living ship, the fused organic technology. The starship, the creature, the shell, lies next to me. Light pulse across across its surface, but it is still, it is quiet. Let's put in the heart node. The heart begins to beat, weak but undeniable. We need to continue it by putting in the neural stem. The ship quivers in response, suddenly aware of my touch. We'll keep going. We're going to put the hardened shell on it. I feel machinery solidified beneath my hands, its flesh taking form as a living being. Let's put in the singularity core. The ship is complete, but my task is not yet complete. It needs something more. We need to put in the soul for the ship, the, ar the archived soul. It is done. It is alive. Yeah, we have our own living ship. And now look at that. Oh my God, are you serious? We got an S-Class, you joking? Oh, and it has supercharged. My God, they changed the uh, living ships. Guys, I just got a supercharged or an S-Class uh, living ship. Holy crap. There we go, we're claiming this baby. Holy cow. So now this is our living ship, we have it. There we are. I love it. If you guys want to see the inside of a living ship, let's go to the first person, the cockpit. This is the inside of... It's kind of gross. This is the inside of a living ship. Kind of kind of gross. Kind of gross. All right. Now, the other thing I want to tell you guys is if you want another living ship, you don't have to go through that whole process ever again. All you have to do is make sure you have a void egg in your inventory. So I'm going to pull it into my starship. So as long as you have a void egg in your inventory, it'll just locate the nearest living ship. So let's, let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to go through this and I should run into randomly. There it is. Run into another living ship and let's talk to it. It should not be, I should not be another egg, another void. We may hatch another. Yes. Let's hatch it. A set of coordinates are beamed to my navigation computer. So now I know the location of another living ship. So that's why once you do the story the first time, you don't have to do it every single time. Now I get the location of a fallen ship. I go there and I can claim it. And every system is going to have a different one. I believe they are the same per system. So. Because I've already I've already picked up a uh, living ship in this system, the one that I find next is probably going to look very similar, if not the same exact kind as this one. It'll look exactly the same as this living ship. So if you're looking for a different kind, you're going to have to go to a different system. Every system's going to have its own unique ship. Well, let's see, let's see. As far as I remember, I'm not really. A, it's been a while since I've done it, you guys. So I might be wrong on that. However, let's check this one out should be the same as the one I have with me. Yep, it looks like the same exact one. So let's head all over to it. Yep, same ship. So the same type. They'll be different colors. They'll have different fins. So there you go. And if you want to, grab in here. And we are replicated. The new behavior. Reproduction possible. Greater synthesis possible. Confirm it, traveler. So you need 10 thousand nanites in order to even claim this ship not only do you need your egg you need ten thousand nanites if you don't like it you're like hey look this is uh this is not my kind of thing i don't like this one reject it and it feels sad and it flies away and it says why do you hate me but you get your void egg back so now we have our void egg again where is it at is it back in here it should be, or maybe it went back to my freighter. Yeah, because I have a stack of them right here. So you get your void egg back 
if you reject it. And you can just keep doing that over and over again. Go to a different system and you're able to get a different living ship. So hopefully you guys liked the series. If you did, hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next one.